I'm Keshla. And I'm Sean. And today, we're, we're talking, talking about, about video games. games. So, our first game that we're going to talk about is Black Ops 3, and we're just going to discuss our favorite guns, what specialists we use, and the new DLC. So, what are your favorite guns? Um, I think my favorite guns for regular um, machine guns or submachine guns, I like um, Vesper. Mm -hmm. And for my sniper rifle, I think I like the Dragon. Okay, so mine at the moment is CUDA and VMP. And you know how I told you like they nerfed CUDA? They yeah. buffed the VMP. So like oh, okay. now I go so try hard with that and it's the best thing ever. I found the only thing for the VMP was that um, I don't know if they buffed this or not, but the only thing for the VMP was the clip size. Like, you burn through bullets very quickly mm -hmm. on the VMP. Yeah, no, but like now it's like you hit them with a couple bullets and they're gone. Okay, so you And there's like little them. recoil. Okay, so, so like... it's really good. So like, it's kind of like... Because the reason why I like the Vesper was mostly because like, you could really just catch them with a few sprays from like long distance, mm -hmm. from like all the way down the street. You could just, you yeah. know, like two bullets would hit them and it'll just be done. You know, it's a nice, quick, simple finish. Um, the only reason why I didn't really like the VMP was because of the clip size and also because I don't really like changing. Like once I found a gun that I'm good at, I like to just stick to that gun. Uh, so what's your favorite snipers? Uh, sniper favorite sniper is Dracon. The Dracon. Yeah, Dracon, that's it. I use Dracon yeah. and Locust. And yeah, as I said, once I find my gun, that's like really it. That's like really That's what you were using when we played last time? Well, yeah. Yeah, okay. So what's your favorite specialist? I only play one specialist. <laughs> I only play I don't play get Sparrow. how you do that. Oh, uh, it's because it's not really like a choice. It's like the lack of a choice. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, I have very specific requirements. Like, I don't like using characters that are too overpowered. So that like cancels out like pure fire and... I love pure fire and gravity spikes. Like, that is so unfair. Like, those two <laughs> are guns that you can just walk, or like specialist classes that you can just walk into mm -hmm. a room and just like look around and just use them. It doesn't matter who's in front of you, as long as you see them first or catch them off guard, sometimes even not, not even that. Sometimes you'll like, you'll be in like a fair competition and they just can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. No, but sometimes like, like I said before, um, those are easy things to lose. So like in the middle of you doing your gravity spikes, they shoot you, it's, you're done, like you lose them. Yeah, but who's expecting somebody to jump through a doorway I and gravity so spike like, the ground? To be honest, I die so many times using it, and like, it sucks. Like, I lose my specialist that I worked so hard to get. And you know the worst part of it is, is that when you get into a room and you're just, you're ready. Like, you're ready to like, go ham, mm -hmm. and you're like, all right, I'm doing this, and you're running. And then when you get to the doorway, like, you look in, you kill one guy, you kill a second guy, and you're getting ready to use your specialist, and as soon as you get up in the air, or you pull out your board, whatever it is, Somebody always gets you at that specific moment. Yeah. They didn't get you any of the, of the other times when you were killing people, but they get you when you're about to activate it. <laughs> no, and um, recently I was using the black market in the game, and like yesterday, and I got like new dance moves and stuff, and like I was so hyped. I got the wrench, I have the bat now, I have the sword. And I'm like, I'm you, so hot. You got like the happy. sword? All right. So before before all of this had happened, when the game had like just come out, or kind of it was more um, brand new, uh, the monkey wrenches and stuff was like the pinnacle. It was like, you have to get like a monkey wrench or those fist of cuffs or something, right? Now they have like swords and all kinds of crazy. They have swords, they have bats, they have all this stuff. And the dances are like getting out of hand. They have like the hotline bling yeah. dance, I think. Yeah, like and they added dad. so much. It's like getting so out of hand in the black market, but everybody wants them and they're like really hard to get. I don't know, I get so lucky. Like yesterday I got two new things and I was like excited. I get like the same emote. I get an emote for the gravity spike character and I never use him, ever. I don't get how you do that, but okay. Um, the next game we're going to talk about is Grand Theft Auto. So your opinions on Grand Theft Auto are? Um, it's, it's a fun game, but not for very long. Like, you know, it's not like a game that you play every day, or at least I can't play it every day. I, I can, kind of, but I get bored after a while. So, yeah. Yeah, like, It I depends if you're playing with people or not. Yeah, if you're playing with people, it's a lot more fun. Mm -hmm. You can, like, really, like get into like squad mentality you just start mobbing everything yeah. like anybody who comes up to you doesn't matter who they are 
it doesn't matter if they have a lot of money or a lot of gear they're better than you it's just like hey like i have like a squad that's about to come down the street mm -hmm. so if you shoot me you're dead all right but no i hate playing by myself because like you said last time like you can go into a store and someone will honestly shoot you just shoot you and like you they'll can't wait do outside yeah they'll like, wait for you and they'll, they'll kill pull you. up and stand at the door with their gun out the window and you're just like <laughs> like what is wrong with <laughs> what you what am i supposed to do they'll, or like you you ever walking on the sidewalk or something and you're talking to your friends over the mic and somebody drives by and throws mm -hmm. c4 out the window and blows you up and you're just like okay like why <laughs> like why really no and like i said last time like i think grand theft is like a fun game like if you're playing with people by yourself it's not really that fun because you don't really do much but um one time i was playing with alberto and mauricio and i thought alberto was picking me up and he told me he was on his way and stuff so i was like okay and then somebody parked so i thought it was alberto and it wasn't so this random person picked me up and then like brought me somewhere and then he started texting me through the Grand Theft Auto, like, phone and was like, oh, hey, um, are you really a girl and stuff? And I'm like, yeah, like, and I'm already thinking it's still Alberto. So I'm like, Alberto, is that you? He's like, no, like, I'm still <laughs> Alberto on my way. Alberto asks you if you're really a girl. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, Alberto, that's not you? And he's like, no, that's not. I'm like, Yo, like I just got kidnapped. Yeah. <laughs> so I, at this point, I'm thinking, like, this is so funny and stuff. And he brings me to, like, a secluded place. And there's, like, a helicopter waiting. So I get in the helicopter and he brings me to this random island and then like I lag out so when I come back into the game I'm like stuck on this island and I'm telling you like he took me far and I'm over here like dang like my kidnapper took me far <laughs> like now I'm stuck here so Alberto Mauricio had to go like steal the helicopter and come rescue me and stuff. You see, these are the re these are the things that happen in GTA that doesn't really happen anywhere else like nobody will like take you and like start messaging you first of all through the chat that's inside of <laughs> the, the game. game instead of just messaging you over PSN they message you inside of the game like my character's exactly. phone to ring on her <laughs> phone and it's just like why this is so weird like this is too in-depth and afterwards like everybody, everybody in GTA has this mentality where like if you're a girl they'll give you anything you want honestly in GTA <laughs> if you're a girl they will give you whatever you want um, you'll go you'll go into a store or you'll go up to a, like you're gonna try to get some money and they'll just they'll just give it to you they'll just hand it out and I, like I, I feel like those are like some of my main concerns of the game is that when you get into it and you really start playing in the game you find it's a little bit unfair sometimes yeah. because if somebody if somebody has more guns than you like when I started I had like a pistol and I walked into the clothing store and I bought myself a nice suit and a fedora <laughs> and as soon as I walked out I realized oh man I probably should have bought some guns or mm -hmm. something right and then you see people driving on the street and their friends are helping them out and like you know you're by yourself so it doesn't really work out and the thing is like um when you have to buy stuff like you have to be a specific level to get more stuff so it's kind of hard to like i always just have pistols and stuff because i don't know how to level up in the game so i just stick with like the basics of what i have yeah nobody and everybody you. has like machine guns and, and like bomb throwers and stuff and yeah, i'm like, like, like how do you get this they're getting like c4 and grenades and rocket launches mm -hmm. that are pink and stuff and you're sitting over here like how are you guys like leveling up in the first place like nobody explains that to you nobody's like yeah, oh, yeah i don't like, know how you to you need to like you need to go into your phone i'm like my phone where my phone in real life like what are you talking about no and like for missions like in order to get money you have to do missions so like one of the heists I did, like, um, everybody else that I was doing it with had money. So it was, like, four of us. And I was, like, the only one that, like, because I, I had just started the game. So I was, like, like just give me, like, 75% of the money. And it was, like, $2 million in the game. And I was broke so in the game. So I'm, like, okay, let's just do it. And, like, as soon as we're, like, and these heists are hard. Like, and they knew what they were doing kind of. So I was just, like, chilling. And tell me why, like, Alberto, like, lags out the last minute and stuff, and it was so bad, I was so upset, because, like, they didn't want to do it again, so exactly. I'm like, like, I just lost all my money. It, it's sort of like um, a Destiny raid, mm -hmm. where once you get into a Destiny raid, it can take anywhere from, like, 40 minutes to, like, three hours, depending on the team you have and how, like, how efficiently yeah. you clear it, it could take a very long time, right? Um, so you'll get into a raid and you guys will fail the same part like four times and mind you each each of these is like half an hour mm -hmm. right so you're like you're like playing for half an hour you fail you have to restart you're like oh my god guys i think i don't think i want to do this anymore and one by one your teammates start to like like 
log out and they're like, yeah, guys, we can try this tomorrow <laughs> or whatever, right? And then it comes to a point where you're by yourself and you're just like, but, but we're so close. <laughs> it was the boss who was right over there. You know, like, and you're like really stressed out. All right, so um, the next game we're going to talk about is Minecraft. And recently they just added Hunger Games to Minecraft. And like I said before, it's not really big. It's like a small room, a couple people, because not a lot of people know about it yet. So um, five chests, you come, you get the chest, whatever you can. And they don't really give you a lot of good stuff. It'll be like basic stuff, like a little bit of armor. Like the, like the most overpowered armor I got was like an iron chest plate. And they give you like axes and stuff. They don't really give you swords. And if they do, it's like a wooden sword. So you're not really overpowered in the game unless like there's like chests where they give you a lot of potions. So that's probably like one of the like worst ones because they just constantly yeah. throw potions at you. But like it's not really like an overpowered game. You don't, everybody has like a fair chance of getting whatever and stuff. So it's really cool. I mean, there's a, there's a lot about it that I, that I didn't see because I haven't been able to play my PS4 recently. Um, so I don't really know very much about what's mm -hmm. been currently going on. But I did, however, get to see the mini games tab for um, the, in Minecraft on the PS4. And one thing that was really weird about it that I, that I was watching videos on it yesterday after I, after I had gotten home, I was watching some videos on it. And I was like, wait, how come you're giving people axes? This is like really, like, it's really weird because axes in the game aren't actually a weapon. They're more of like utility. Mm -hmm. So, like, when you give people axes, but then somebody has a wooden sword, the wooden sword is still slightly better. Like, unless, unless it's like a stone axe, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you have to get really high up there. But sometimes people have chain mail and, like, iron armor, so then mm -hmm. it kind of, like... Balances out. Yeah. So, I've seen it, I've seen people playing it, and actually it is a pretty small radius. It's not, it's not like you can, like, run away and hide. Mm -hmm. Like, somebody's eventually going to find you in, like, the first, like, couple of minutes. Of yeah, like, the longest game I, I was in was, like three, four minutes, like it doesn't last that long. Yeah, you'll get, you'll get caught out really quickly. So um, I feel like I could play it for like, for like half an hour, mm -hmm. like half an hour. That's as long as it lasts. I can't really keep yeah. going. Yeah, it's like, like it's just like, while. it's just like, oh you yeah. You constantly play I with the same the people chest. and stuff, yeah. I ran to the chest and I got this stuff and then I was like, oh, oh yeah, I died. <laughs> and then you start over again and then like, it's like Minecraft isn't a game where it's very intense. It's mm -hmm. not one of those games. It's one of those games where like you can just hop in and you know and you're just sitting there and you're dying you don't even care like it's more intense like on pc if anything because like it's way harder like especially like the hunger games version because like there's a lot of people on pc so like you and there's like levels in pc and like pc one so you can play with like an easy mode where there's like basic stuff like a hard mode where there's like diamond stuff and everything so it's kind of harder and stuff so yeah but don't you like play with like your mouse pad? No, I, no, I have a mouse. I was about to say like I'm pretty sure I saw you playing with your no, mouse I pad. No, I did at school, like, but like, like that I have a hurt mouse. Hurt my feelings. I was like, is you sure it's hard or is just that you're? No, playing it with was never. Pad? No, even with my the thing with the mouse pad, I would still win games and stuff. But like with the mouse, it's just easier access to like, kill people. So now I play like hard mode. It's better that way. So what game did you want to talk about? Oh, okay. So, this is a game that I'm really, really excited about, and it is called No Man's Sky. Okay, explain it to me. Alright, so No Man's Sky is a game that has around 18 quintillion planets in it, mm -hmm. right? So it's a very, very big game, and okay. a lot of people are wondering how exactly they're going to construct a game that was this big, um, and basically it's done using ma ma mathematical equations, mm -hmm. right? And basically, it's on your disk, and every time you load up the game, it goes through the mathematical equation, so all the planets are in the same place. So it's not that the, the disk has the game on it, or has all the planets on it, because then the game would be ridiculously large. It's actually only 60 gigabytes. But what happens is every time you boot up the game, it runs the sequence, which places all the planets back in its place. Um, it's an online game, but... Can you play with other people on it? Yeah, you can play with other people. You can like, you can like, play. It's an online game, so there's other people doing things as you're mm -hmm. doing them. But one of the things that the developers are saying is that it's so rare for you to see another person like ever playing the game with you because the universe is just very, very large. It's like, like it's supposed to simulate our actual universe. So this game 
gets into like a lot of like the nitty gritty and this is kind of like the next move up for video games like you know how in video games you can only stick to like a specific area of the mm -hmm. world you know you can't just like oh yeah i'm gonna take a plane from chile to like whatever you know you can't like do that in normal video games but now if this game succeeds that will become possible you could there's the chance for games to be able to span entire countries or the whole world maybe and I feel like that's gonna be really cool, like GTA worldwide, and you're like taking plane ships across the ocean. It'll just be a very interesting concept to see, and I feel like this game has a lot of really good potential. Okay, that's cool. So now we're gonna discuss the big topic, which is girl gamers and boy gamers. And like, like you said, like girl gamers are what? Like, explain. Girl gamers are really rare. For like guys who play games to see, like guys freak out when they see girl games. It's like, oh my god, she's a girl and she plays video games. Oh my lord, I'm freaking out right now. Like everybody's like tripping out and everybody's getting all excited and stuff. But one thing that they don't do is really take girl gamers seriously. Yeah. And like it's, I feel like it's a hard thing for them to do because they haven't seen girl gamers a lot, so they don't have mm -hmm. experience with girl gamers. They're not, like. You know, you get online, you're like, oh yeah, I'm playing games. And they're like, they're like, oh yeah, but are you really though? Are you really serious though? Like, I don't, I don't think you really understand. And I feel like it's not fair, but at the same time, you can't really fault them for not understanding mm -hmm. like, the dynamic because they've never been in this situation before. They like, never just logged on yeah. and Sydney's playing the game. And it's just like, yeah. So I feel like it's, that's at least that's our or my standpoint for it. Because like me like i'll tell people at school oh like yeah i play and they like they'll constantly tell me like i'm either lying that i don't play or that it's like an easy game or whatever and it's kind of like annoying because like it's like like i'm not lying like it's true i play games like and when i play with you guys you guys are like oh like are you really like you guys like, will tell me like sure? oh is it you i'm like yes it's me or whatever i remember we were playing and then alberta was like no nah, that's not her that's her brother and i'm like what do you mean it was me and it's just so annoying no it's because it's weird it's hard to attach the voice to the body it's like are you really like sitting there actually playing video games right now it's like god at least for me i feel like girls have like a lot more to do with their life like they have like like ambitions and like dreams and stuff. As like guys, most of us don't really know what we want to do. And that kind of like leads to us spending a lot of time in our hobbies. And that's why like, you see a lot more guys getting into like sports and things that aren't related to an actual job because they don't really know what they would do even if mm -hmm. they could, if like, if they wanted to do a job. So most of them end up playing video games or doing something like that. And it's just like it's just like one of those things where it's, where you're really confused as if like like this is like very unusual like you're confused you're like is this for real like are you really online like i remember the first time i saw you online i was freaking out i was like oh my god like are you for real is this really case like oh my god i can't believe it <laughs> and like we were playing we were playing call of duty i was like he's actually playing a video game right now this is amazing yeah, and like I'll constantly tell people at school, and they'll either always think that I suck or whatever, and they'll be like one v one me, and I'm like, I'm like, are you serious? Like, and when I get to one v oneing them, they're like, oh no, it's not you playing, it's not. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, it's not me playing, it's me. Exactly. Like it, it's a weird like kind of gender boundary kind of mm -hmm. thing. Like it's because most people like expect like a guy with glasses or like like some like buff guy who like has like a well-suited house or something to be playing video games they don't expect like like a girl to just come home you know throw off her book bag and just be like all right i'm gonna play some cod today <laughs> like they don't really expect that and i feel like that's what a lot of what makes the tension like you get online and you see some people like nowadays is becoming a lot more frequent for guys or at least like wives and husbands to play video games together nowadays so at least now you see a lot more like guys like my friend King and like a lot of my other friends they come online with their wives or girlfriends or stuff and they play video games they even sometimes even buy them a console which mm -hmm. shocks me entirely but it's a very it's very actually fun to see and mm -hmm. it's fun to hang out with them because as I said it's a new dynamic and it brings more excitement to the games I feel like the gaming world is kind of getting a little bit stale now it's kind of like oh yeah I'm gonna play some games like a bunch of guys like you know what I mean mm -hmm. you kind of want it to be kind of fresh every once in a while um, and now for the next topic, we're going to talk about expectations versus reality, and we're going to show you guys 
some expectations of gaming and the reality of them. You freaking suck. Are you serious right now? That's why you can't. Yo, your accuracy, I'm really going to flame you right now. Like, what is this? It's, yo, that accuracy. Uh, my grandma shoots better than that. What are you, what are you doing? That's probably why you smell like dog poop anyways. That's why, that's why you, your, your accuracy, that's why it's, it's slow, bro. Like, it's, it's dumb. Like, that accuracy, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, well, I don't, I don't get this game, like, Okay, I'm just gonna use this gun. Like, I just died. You're supposed to like have my, I just died again. I promise I don't suck. It's just the game, like I'm new to it. I promise I don't suck. Boy, you suck. I bet you use a hundred dollar scuff to only crouch. Like, what are you talking about? Like, so one v one me then. Last kill 360. Okay. No man's sky for 30 minutes, then I'm gonna get off. Oh Jesus, it's not on. Okay, so I just got a, a, a ship that looks really gross. I just, I'm gonna sell this. I don't like this anymore. I guess I'm done for today. Mom, hungry. All right, I'm gonna play No Man's Sky for 30 minutes. Just 30 minutes, no more than 30 minutes. All right, let's put this up. See this? This is No Man's Sky. This is No Man's Sky. This is this is the game. All right, it's too lit. New new hyperdrive, new new everything. You know, I mean, and, and uh, what time? What what time is it? Oh, it's only, it's only 9 o'clock, it's fine. It's fine, it's only Oh, Jesus. Okay, I guess. Oh my God, I gotta go. Guys, guys, I gotta go to work, I'm sorry. How, how long have you guys been up? This is, you guys are gross, take a shower. Oh wow, oh wow, I just got a free victory. The person killed themselves. <laughs> I, I 360 killed myself because like that was whack. No, she killed me! So, I was utterly destroyed by her. So, I'm just gonna go cry now. Mm -hmm. I'm a rage quitter. Oh my god, I'm like, we're the best, right? Dude. We're literally like the best gaming exactly. couple I've ever seen. Like, we're the best at COD, in, like, ever. You see that? Yo, can we play Green the Fado after? Like, yeah, we should play that. No Man's Sky, or? Or Destiny. Yeah, we should play Destiny. Destiny. We can go over there and hit up hit up the PvP or you know. Okay. Let people up. They I got it. Know. They don't know. They don't know. They don't see it coming. coming. Yep, they don't. What, what is this? Are you serious, Sean? You're gonna get this? me killed because of that. Like you. You you realize you realize right now that you're zero and six. I'm not right? zero and six. You don't you you obviously I, I, still let me, let me put my control. Okay. On. You obviously see that. Like 
One. One what? Two. Two kills. I just got a kill though. Three kills. Exactly. Now you're one and six. Whoa. Oh, oh my okay. god. Look at the you. Chains. I can't hear you from the bottom of the scoreboard. So. Oh my god. You, you need a ladder you, down I'm, there. I'm sure you, you see me at the top right now. Do you need a ladder? I can't hear you from down there. I can't hear you from down there. You need a ladder? I'll throw you a ladder. Honestly. Boy, I'll throw you a rope to bring you up here, yo, because you're. I'm really bad. You're still one and six. You're still one and six right now. I can't hear you from the bottom of the scoreboard. Shut up. All right. Uh, like, can you guys like tell me how to play this game? Like, Trainel, shut up. Tra Trainel, I'm at. Trainel, I'm asking you a question. Trainel. So you're gonna yell at me because I'm asking you a question. All right, that's how it is. All right, I see how it is. You know what? Forget it. It's fine. I figured it out. Here we go, anyway. Boy, your head looks like a coconut. Shut up. I don't ever like you. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. You think you're really big, yo. Meet me at school right now. Go to school right now. I'll meet you in the parking lot right now. Right now. Right? Yo, hey. Hey, hey, but. <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying. I just have the camera. <laughs> Reality. Oh my god. Is this how people perceive it? Sean! Boy, I bet you you scruffed the couch. Like, what do you, what do you, I said couch. I'm asleep, hold up. <laughs> I said you scuffed the couch. <laughs> That's why you scuffed the. <laughs> hold on. I bet you. Sp I can't team with anybody. Let's see. You want a team? This is Minecraft sign language. In reality, I'll be buns. <laughs> I, was, I was doing this, I was like, mm, this feels nice. Yeah. Oh my gosh, like, we're so good. We're so good. Like, Amazing. like we're the best gaming couple ever. Where's my buttons again? I, know, I was even asking that. I was like, this isn't my controller. Yeah. This got busted up. No. I was like, <laughs> okay, she doesn't want a team. She's a loser, anyways. I didn't want to team with her, anyways. Why are you, like, doing that? I don't know. I just like the way it feels. Stop judging me. It's okay, go, Sean. Um. Uh, oh, oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we can still hear you from the camera, though, so. It's okay. Boy! Jeez. Oh, no! It's only for the, <laughs> it's only for the reality. Yo, she she also like, turned on my mic. For she, the... was like, she was like, what do I We're going to have again? some good bloopers. And that's mainly it, right? Yep. So, um, again, I'm Sean. I'm Case Love. And we just finished talking about video <laughs> games. <laughs>